interesting how my audio is. Sounds good. So, let's continue. I know I said I was going to try and do Life is Strange before the new one came out, but I didn't have In time. the previous episodes of Life is Strange. So, <gasps> so film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Time I reset. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Yeah, things have gotten a bit weird. There's quite a lot still to be done, and I think there's still two episodes plus this one left. So I'm not even halfway through yet. Chaos Theory, that's the one. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Yes. Little rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. No, I watered the plant. I thought. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Yeah. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. <sighs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on... 
<sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Leave. Yeah, this is the one where we have to break in Okay, school. this is scary dark. Let there be... Recording using your phone. So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yeah, they don't need that. Hey, Max? Come here. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Does that rewind mean that I'm able to direct the conversation as well? Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jeff... It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. What? Like, who? Victoria Bounce. Not me. Okay. I don't know what I missed there. Look into my eyes. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Confused about her. Dana's really hurting over this. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. I don't know what other Must be serious to throw go. yourself I off the roof. Victoria. A 
That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. Oops. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. Hey, Dana. Better than me. I knew she was depressed, but... Must be serious to... Kate? So what exactly are you... I know Jefferson got re... I'm not... I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out to... What? Victoria? Victoria okay. Val... Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Let's stick it with that one. Oh, go. Leave. Oh boy. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Let me just sit down. Um, I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. So pretty. Scroll. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe. I got mail. Samuel should fix that lamp. Oh, the I'm most magical in. insects. Burn bright. Principal uh, Wells. Wow, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Student, wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. I'm tempted to see what happens if I go past them. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get caught. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Oh, great. He saw me. 
Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open Max the Ninja Strikes again. <laughs> oh no, maybe I should max the ninja. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. She Fuck is. the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh, Victoria, Victoria. Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just 
to when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Mm -hmm. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. <laughs> We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Yeah. That's gonna be a bit more complicated than that. Most likely. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. What's in here? Nothing. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding yeah, shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Yeah. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Now I can go exploring. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Boring. Dead end. Nothing yeah, here. Yeah, there's no point in me doing that. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? <laughs> huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Science. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Let's go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. But beforehand. Let's go snooping. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max the Art Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I 
say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Okay, I was hoping to find something. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Only three more items to go. Hmm. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, I have the can. You're halfway home, Max. Okay, this is me. Just a powder. Whoa, okay. So there's the can tape. A lighter, which is clothes, obviously have sugar and chlorine dioxide. Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Cool, so I need a weed killer. No, this mixture doth not I never said they were great, troll. Oh, what did that? I never said they were great, troll. Oh. Wow. Uh... Ass biology. Oh, ah. Gross. The A went a bit long now. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Take the sugar. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nate. Oh. But every little grade counts. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. You mm, don't know if sugar. I should do that a lot. Because then they might know. Only one more ingredient left. No, Warren probably wouldn't like the fact I did that. No, I'll leave it. So, weed killer. That means I need to find a place. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Well, no, this is back in the chemistry. There's got to be something I can use here. What's this? This stuff's sweet killer. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Nice. Thanks, fish. Nice work. 
please resume your slumber. Hmm. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. Oh, there it is. But what is weed killer? Here's the sodium sense? chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> Thank you. I probably should find those items now. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Literally. Seems like a horror game at the moment. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! <laughs> Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? We do this. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck you, door! Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Oh. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Yeah. And I'm gonna start walls. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. And she is on the computer. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Hmm. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. <laughs> Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Well. Maxine Goldfield. Max as she prefers to be called. It's because of quiet potential. Da -da -da. Though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Well.
This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Yeah. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Hmm. His gift or a curse. Who writes these summaries? Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Mm, that wouldn't be. You need to go to the police department for that. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. Problematic student. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Same obvious conclusion. What do If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Hmm. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan yeah. Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Yep. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Yeah. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We That's should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Jesus, now if we leave the money, then Chloe will be beast and Frank will have a problem. But then if we steal the money, they will know that people were here and I'd have to find out. 
Mm. I don't know. Okay, I cheated and looked it up, but that's it because we were going to because I didn't sign the Frank petition. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, nice. beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding, but. You never know. No. But no, because I didn't sign a petition. There's lack of security. I feel like shit for taking that money. And because... There's no cameras, they can't catch us, necessarily. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish, splish splash. splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> also, why is the handicap fund in a brown envelope with a load of cash? When technically it should be a check. So surely that's dodgy. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I'd better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Hmm. Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. <laughs> sock. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Who's the Chris now? Okay. It's... The wit, it burns. <laughs> Oops. This way. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Anything to... I hope so, friend. Pictures, nope. 
Well, we care, dickhead. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings... Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Snoop dog. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. <laughs> I'm just going to do full circle. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Hmm. Oh, wow. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Yes. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Spaloosh. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. <laughs> and I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. They're dead in the water. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... We're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. 
You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look you cute did. with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello. Hello. Anybody there? No. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Mm -hmm. Shout that. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Through the front. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car!
Okay, okay, okay. Always remember this moment. <laughs> Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? No. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is free. Waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Well, I'm wait, so wiped out from last I night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. So last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, because I know if you lose it long enough, something will happen. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Fashion hall, nice. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <laughs> that face. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. 
Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Whoa. Oh, man. That was something. priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Get the last. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake him up first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I look like I broke the door. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. <sighs> it's like when we were kids here. Let's go down and eat. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me mm -hmm. exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Actual eggs. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. Yes. Where's the eggs at? Oh. The eggs Bouncing always bacon. come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you yeah, actually is. jealous of Rachel? I was getting cringy. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Nom, 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 nom. Seat.
Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this yeah, table. Yeah, makes a big Good, one. you can clean. Bring those eggs and bake into my belly. Yeah, and finished it. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. <laughs> I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Yeah, I do. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy it. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nope. Okay. Nothing to see here. How about corned beef? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. If I go really back. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work.
I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Okay. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. So yeah. much stuff. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. What's the session X? Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Jeez. So many options. Magic 8 Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Two goes and we're score. Yeah. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. What? I'm confused. For each of it's semi-understandable because she was skipping class, but Kate doesn't do anything off the blue. <laughs> Don't trust grown men with goatees. Wow, his deductibility skills aren't good. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. There you go. Computer's locked again. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. 
Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Jesus. Why? Do I have to... Before we see the side with Chloe, but... Jeez. You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Well, I do get to rewind, so I can see what the other outcome is. As much as... Think. Oh, I went a bit too far. Oh well. Sure, it was Blackwell students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? See, there's nothing to side with David. Because he's just moaning and everyone. But I'll do it anyway and see what the outcome is. Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up again.
Yeah, so I looked it up and everyone had the same conclusion I did. There is basically no reason for me to start with David at this point in time. With Chloe, I do. See how long I've been doing this for. Oh, yeah, like it's at the side of David, but I have a feeling he's a good guy, but there's nothing too side with him there, he was just moaning. I know I've still got quite a while left of this to go. So, uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.